Yo, what's going on guys, Press here, welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, today we're going to be going over the very best MP5 class setup. Now, this video is actually recommended by BoJ Box on my Growl 556 best class setup video, which should be popping up on screen right here. So if you want to go watch that, it's right there. But uh, he actually recommended to do the MP5. So here it is. Now, if you go into enjoy the video, remember to leave a like, and consider hitting that subscribe button if you do enjoy my content and you're into these class videos, because I really enjoy making them. And also, leave a comment below just to say whatever gun you want next in the series, because I'm going to try and make this, you know, a recurring theme on my channel, just doing a bunch of guns. But, uh, that out of the way, let's get into the actual setup. So, here's the actual build of the gun. You can see it's more of a smaller SMG, and as far as stats go, you can see that there's uh, one con, and that's in range. So the MP5's range is already pretty good, so I didn't really try and emphasize the point of getting that higher. More on mobility, because the MP5 is already a pretty versatile gun, but being able to scope in and move around things faster is the main thing that determines it to be better than like a base MP5, or like any other SMG in the game. So getting into the actual tactics of the gun, the very first one is the Subsonic Integral Suppressor. Now this one has a lot of pros and one con being bullet velocity. I personally really like this barrel. This is the only attachment I'd say is subject to change based on your play style. I like this one because it looks really sweet and I just like the pros that comes with like no tracers. Now as far as lasers go, I have the TAC laser once again just like the Growl 556 class because I just think it's the best laser for multiplayer has the most pros and it's just really really good compared to any of the others. Once again I use this on basically like all of my multiplayer classes. Stock, again just like the Growl, I have the FTAC collapsible which is basically no stock and this really helps for movement speed and remote side speed which just adds on to that mobility. This one is another one that's subject to change based on your playstyle but I seriously recommend this no stock because it really really is good and can help a lot. For grip, I have the stippled grip because once again it helps the mobility. You can do the aim down side speed and sprint to fire speed. And these are both really, really good. Uh, granulated is also a good option, but I went with stippled because once again mobility is more important than uh, you know staying on target, for me at least. And uh, for under barrel, range of four grip. This is the only one where I you know sacrifice some mobility for recoil control. And that's so that uh, if you're ever jumping around corners or anything, you need to know how to just like hit your target straight and have tight groupings, which you'll see later on in the video is really good. So getting to some actual gameplay here, you can see I get a quick quad feed on Chew House. And as far as ammo capacity goes, I would say that like having like a 45 round option is pretty good. But you can see right there, I did have just enough bullets to kill four people. So if you just duck around cover between kills, it should be pretty good. And another thing I want to point out is how fast I'm moving. I mean, I do have dead silence, but I am just kind of jumping around corners and that sort of thing pretty easily. And of course, hip fire is good with that attack laser. Again, why well, I use it on literally all my multiplayer classes. But it's just a pretty versatile and good gun. So right here is another example of mobility. You can see I'm just kind of jumping around the bus right here, being able to get two kills. And uh, the gun is just really good for like as far as shots go, it's really accurate. And I'm about to show an example right here of how good it is compared to the base MP5. So right here you can see the pretty tight grouping with this gun. This isn't me holding down the joystick or anything like that, that's just me holding down the trigger. You can see pretty tight grouping compared to the base MP5 with a stock actually has a worse grouping. Same thing with the growl, it just kicks up a bit more which eventually leads to you not hitting your target as much. So a few smaller details just to finish up this video with would be the iron sights of the gun. Now the MP5's iron sights are obviously really good, better than something like the MP5K from Black Ops, but they're good along with a lot of the guns in this game just like the Growl. And uh, once again, I'd say that the uh, ammo capacity of the gun is not too bad. And that's just between ducking behind cover and the reload speed isn't bad at all. And just, of course, that mobility, it's easy to just kind of jump around things to stop to reload and all that. And it's just, it's, it's, it's an easy gun to use, honestly. The MP5 is already a really good base gun. So adding all these good attachments can really just deck it out to the point where you're just like a god. 
So that'll just about round it out for this video. Again, if you did enjoy, remember to leave a like and consider subscribing if you like these videos. And go ahead and leave a comment below what gun you'd want next. I'm thinking the MP7, maybe M4, even though I don't really like that gun. Uh, just whatever you want. And also check out the Growl 556 video, because uh, that video is sort of the same as this, same format, and is a really, really good gun. So again, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.